and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a leaf icon. Someone had a question and here's a simple solution that I could come up with. As always there are many ways to create it but I'm going to use the ellipse tool. Let me click on the X to get rid of the fill and I will shift click on the black color to have a stroke. I click on it again with the selection tool so that I can rotate it. Let's say to this position then I press ctrl D to copy it. I drag it out of there while I hold control and I flip it horizontally. The short key for that is also H. Or let us reposition it while holding control. We want to have this intersection right here. So you can adjust it according to what you want to have. Select it all, path and then intersection and everything else is deleted. You can still resize it or transform it. Just hold shift for example if you want to make it wider. Now let us use the Bezier tool and it snaps because I've got the snapping enabled right here. And I just draw this straight line with the left click. Afterwards you can press S to deselect it. But let us create a curvature at the bottom. Uh, maybe that was a little bit too big. You can always adjust these lines with the nodes to right here. So just left click and treat these nodes like anchor points. So that's fine for this step. Let us select it all, object, fill in stroke and under stroke style width. We'll give it the same width. Maybe 20, Ah, let's go to 15. It depends on the size that you've got but for me 15 is fine but I want to have a round cap and you should too. You can see that right here at the bottom. Now let us give it a gradient. So I'll select this other part and use the gradient tool right here. You want to have a gradient in the fill and create it linearly. Just left to right, we're good. And on the fill, we can adjust the colors. So let me give both a greenish color. The second one, I'll make it lighter. I'd like to have it from 100% opacity to zero. Are we good to go for the next step? Once again, we need the Bezier tool. And we want to have snap to paths active. So click on it and now it snaps to this line. We can left click, left click and drag. And then just press S to deselect it. Press B to reactivate the Bezier tool. Both are selected, I press Ctrl D and I can drag these copies to the top. And now I'll use the notes tool to reposition these notes slightly to give it more randomness. You want to uncheck snap to pass to have more freedom to reposition these notes. Select them all. Once again, stroke style and width. I will use 10 for that. The other one had 15. Now you can select it all, Control G to group it. And let me rotate it slightly. So this is the way I would create such a leaf icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.